How's everyone doing out there today? So we're gonna do a little technical analysis video on FUBU, ticker symbol F-U-B-O. Another good little run ever since we came off that bottom at $8.60. So now currently we're on the second day of this little dead cat bounce. What we're really looking for here on FUBU um, is a break. So if anybody's looking for a day trade or a possible scalp, we're looking for a break of highs of 1084. That was today's highs. What we're looking at is to take profit uh, just right about that 200 day moving average on the one hour time frame. We're gonna come into a little bit of resistance right there at around 1123. So you could take profits there, 50 cents, no shame in taking 50 cents off a small stock like this. So if you can get the move, depending on your size, it could really pay off in your favor. We do have rising support on the one hour time frame, right around $10.13. We do have the whole demand zone down here at around eight dollars, eight to nine dollars. You can see every time we kind of came into this area, buyers were very, very comfortable grabbing in this area, popping the stock back up, popping the stock back up. So if we do put in a little high over ten dollars and eighty four cents, come into eleven, eleven fifty, start to roll over. I would not look for the short, but more so look for the dip down into this um, demand zone here. Um, depending on how strong the stock is, this is the day two holding the 20 day moving average on the one hour time frame. So with that being said, first little dip would be down into $10 and 30 cents. If we do get a dip into 1030, a little bit of consolidation, and then we push higher, you could take a stab at bouncing this stock. Obviously same price target's going to be around 1123. If we do close below on an hourly time frame and lose $10 and 30 cents, I would just kind of hang tight, wait for it to come back into this zone, $8, $9 take the stock in this area. Obviously, if the small caps, uh, Russell 2000 IWM starts to roll over, they've also had a good bounce, but if they do pull back significantly and FUBU sort of loses this $8.60, then that would be an area I would look to scalp. Who knows? Um, we might be looking at a short-term bottom, not saying that the market is not gonna go any lower, not saying that we're not gonna trade sideways, but maybe for the short term, we get a little bit of relief bounce. If we do close over $11.23, we are going to have next resistance up here at around $12.64 and $12.80. So that would be your next profit taking zone in between uh, this range here. So over $11.23 into $12.65, this should be a good run up here. We do need to, we do need to um, close over $11.23. We need to consolidate. We need to back test consolidate and then push higher. This would be your entry where you would want to take long on the stock here and then you're gonna play it into this zone here of $12.65. Just keep that in mind, not a bad runner here. Also just know if we do get that pullback consolidation and we do push higher through supply again, you would take profit or take uh, your entry here. Again, first initial profit taking would be here. If we do close over the 200, let's let it base out, consolidate and then make this next push higher. That's how you kind of want the stock to um, work. If we do have some sort of down red day, anything happens in the market because with this volatile market, we do not know, you know, how this market is going to react. A little bit of support down here at 930 and obviously our big demand zone down here at $8.60. Guys, if you like this video, join my discord. That link is down in the description box below. I also do have a website, evolutiontraders.com. You can get updates and daily watch list, kind of like how you're getting in this video with exact levels of entries and exits. Um, so I have two sections, a free section on my Discord as well as a paid section. Definitely gonna wanna check that out. Also check out the trading course, learn how to trade supply and demand, learn how to use the moving averages as your friend, learn the technicals. It doesn't matter if you're a new trader or it doesn't matter if you're an experienced trader, you're definitely gonna get some value out of that. Also subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think about FUBU and I will see you guys all on the next trading video.